Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So I have some pretty big news. This was kind of a bombshell report that's not really getting any airplay for some reason, but um, it's about another Republican official who ran interference for Trump. Essentially, he pulled a bill bar. So this was following the 2020 election, the Republican AG, the Arizona Attorney General, Um, He launched an investigation into alleged voter fraud in Maricopa County, Arizona. His staff prepared a report in March of 2022. This was after they spent like 10,000 hours chasing down leads. They were looking into all of these voter fraud conspiracies. And what they found was, as we all could have guessed, there was no there there. In fact, one year into the investigation, his team had received 638 election complaints They believe that about 430 of those merited investigation. Ultimately, though, they found that only 22 cases were worthy of review by prosecutors. Out of those 22, they dwindled it down to only two cases and two convictions. This was against felons who were trying to vote. Yet the very next month after this report was issued, the AG, Mark Brnovich, He released what he called an interim report, and he stated in this report that his investigators discovered, quote, serious vulnerabilities. And then he wrote, quote, we can report that there are problematic system wide issues that relate to early ballot handling and verification. What Brnovich didn't bother to say or tell anyone is that he actually edited the report that his staff gave him and he removed information that his own investigators included that contradicted his statements in that interim report. In fact, his staff directly disputed his version of the report. They sent a document with suggested revisions to his top aide and they wrote in bold blue font, quote, We did not uncover any criminality or fraud having been committed in this area during the 2020 general election. Pretty plain and clear, right? There was also an investigative summary that was prepared by his assistant chief special agent that was involved in this review. That summary also found that almost all of the allegations of fraud were meritless. So, for example, in regard to signature verification, which Brnovich had made a big deal about, this summary noted, quote, no improper election procedures were discovered during the signature verification review. As with the first report, Brnovich kept this one under wraps. Then in September of 2022, Brnovich's office, they generated an election review summary. This is like, this was it. There was the final review, final report on what they had found. And they completely struck down any and all allegations of widespread voter or election fraud. This last summary stated, quote, no evidence of election fraud, manipulation of the election process, or any instances of organized slash coordinated fraud was provided by any of the complaining parties. The summary also said specifically that election denier groups, including Cyber Ninjas and True the Vote, quote, did not provide any evidence to support their allegations. The investigators added that the information that these groups did provide was, quote, speculative in many instances. And when investigated by our agents and support staff was found to be inaccurate. The summary also stated that some Republican officials who had previously made election fraud allegations in public, they refused to repeat those same allegations when they were questioned by agents. I mean, when it counts, when they're going to get hit for making fraudulent allegations, making fraudulent statements to an agent of the law. So, for example, failed congressional candidate Mark Fincham claimed that a, quote, source of his knew of 30,000 fake ballots that were submitted in the 2020 election. But when agents interviewed him, he said, quote, he did not have any evidence of fraud and that he did not wish to take up our time. 
The report also noted that other officials refused to even meet with them. They didn't even want to meet with the agents um, for they gave an example on that one, too, like Republican state senator Wendy Rogers. However, Brnovich never released this report to the public. The final report was never released. The Washington Post actually requested copies of all of the documents under the Arizona Public Records Request Law. No, they kept turning them down. They kept saying, oh, we can't we can't release interim information. We can't release information that's not done yet. But then he kept dripping out his own interim reports and what he wanted to get out there. Then Brnovich leaves office. So the new Arizona attorney general, Democrat Chris Mays, uh, she took over. She's now released these documents and supporting information to The Washington Post. And it shows that Brnovich was using his position to selectively release information, incomplete information, to basically just further these election conspiracy theories. And even though Brnovich didn't take illegal steps to try to help Trump overturn the election, he publicly insinuated that there was fraud. This, of course, was while he was running for a seat in the Senate. So, for example, in the WAPO article, they cite an appearance that he made on a far-right radio show. He told the host, quote, It's frustrating for all of us because I think we all know what happened in 2020. So only after Brnovich lost his primary election did he then start to publicly declare that election deniers were grifters and clowns. Those were the words he used. And the new attorney general has rightly said in an interview, the people of Arizona had a right to know this before the 2020 midterm, you know, and they, they had a right to know that Maricopa County was cleared of wrongdoing and that other people throughout the country had a right to know that the election in 2020 was conducted accurately. It was done fairly. It was, you know, all legit. And she said her staff is still working their way through thousands of additional documents that were generated by Brnovich's investigation um, and that they will make all of this available when they make the appropriate redactions. They want to protect certain sensitive information, but they will be releasing everything. So, yeah, just like Bill Barr put out his phony summary of the Mueller report to try to do an end run before the full report was released so that people would go, oh, nothing to see here. Brnovich did the opposite. He he but with the same intention, he put out little drips and drabs to keep people thinking that there was something going on behind the scenes, something nefarious so he could stay in good graces, I'm assuming, with the MAGA crowd to try to win his election. And it didn't even work. He still lost. These people are vile. So anyway, guys, if I hear any more, I'll let you know. He is, of course, out saying, oh, this isn't true. But it, the, the documents speak for themselves. So he can't rewrite history at this point. And in the meantime, he helped to do a lot of damage. So... I'll let you know if I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really, really helps. Um, if you guys can become a donor, monthly donor, it truly helps to keep the show going. Or if you can donate one time, all, all amounts, even a dollar a month, is welcome and helps. And I appreciate it so much. Take care, guys. I'll talk with you soon.